Okay, everybody, so I'm gonna do a drive through at In-N-Out. I don't eat In-N-Out, so what I'm gonna do is just get this food and uh, uh, maybe give it to somebody. Uh, I don't eat meat, uh, but this is an In-N-Out. I wanna kinda show you the experience of the place. Um, so this is an In-N-Out drive through what it looks like, etc. So let's just take a look at one of the more popular uh, fast food places. Maybe I'll just get the fries and give it to someone. Uh, I'm trying to eat healthier and stay away from this kind of food, but I want to show you. So here you have the popular In-N-Out sign, In-N-Out Burger. Uh, In-N-Out's kind of known for not having a lot of options on their food. Like if you were to go to like Carl's Jr. McDonald's, they'll have a chicken burger, uh, a hamburger, maybe something with bacon or different variants. But here in In-N-Out, there's no chicken that I know of. There's no pork. It's all just beef. And even with their smoothies or their ice cream, it's just strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. So they don't really have a lot of options, uh, believe it or not. They're very limited. Um, I'll talk to the lady. And, you know, so it's kind of an interesting concept that they do so well. So here's the menu here. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Give me one second here. I'm just taking a look at the menu. Yeah, okay? of course. Order whenever you're ready. Okay, thanks so much. You're welcome. So I'm looking here at the menu. So you've got cheeseburger, french fries. Okay, I would like to order the number the number two, please, but no cheese on the cheeseburger, please. Okay. Yeah, the number. Yeah, the number. Just num the, the hamburger. Just the hamburger, please. Uh, and yeah, that would be that would be great. I'm sorry. Did you want this as the meal? Yeah, as the meal, please. Okay, perfect. And what kind of drink would you like? Uh, what are the options for the drinks? Coke, 7-Up, Lemonade, Light Lemonade, Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, Cherry Coke, Fruit Beer, an Unsweetened Tea, uh, Hot Cocoa. I'll do Sweetened Tea, please. Unsweetened Tea? Gotcha. Yeah, please. Would you like lemon in that tea? Please. Gotcha. Okay, how much more poor am I today? Oh, 878, please. And oh. will you be eating this in the car? Um, yeah. Of course. All of that is going to be at that next window, please. Okay, so it's under ten dollars, right? Yes, eight seventy-eight. Okay, so I don't need to go rob the little old lady down the street to pay for my meal. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> have, a, have a good night. <laughs> okay, no worries. <laughs> Just joking around with uh, the the uh, in and out people here. Maybe we'll tell them, hey, we're doing a video. Maybe they'll be cool about it. Um, but here is the entrance. So in and out is <laughs> is terrible. There's a guy gonna go take a piss over there. Can, <laughs> it's terrible. I'd, like, let me put this on the footage, but that'd be terrible to do. When you gots to go, you gots to go. Okay, so these are the lines. Uh, it's a little bit late at night. I was doing some filming earlier, but uh, it's not too bad here. You know, what are uh, some fun facts about in and out? Let me see if I could look it up some fun facts about in and out as we're waiting here so here's the gentleman's here here you can see him they always dress really nice at in and out here comes the guy that just took care of business uh but here's this guy here with the uh, white uh, outfit on in and out always has uh the, the the workers always dress very nicely they always look really sharp uh but let's look at some fun facts about in and out it says the 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 recipe for in and out sauce special hasn't changed since 1948 okay one key ingredient in any and out burger is the chain special sauce many have tried to copy the secret recipe but it hasn't changed that makes sense in and out was california's first drive through hamburger restaurant wow the first one founded by harry and esther snydner in baldwin park california 1948 in and out burger became the state's first drive through hamburger stand the original location only measured 10 feet wide and while harry ran the restaurant esther performed accounting duties from the couple's home Wow. The original In-N-Out hamburger cost 25 cents. The only major changes to the menu since the restaurant opened have been to the prices. A hamburger used to cost 25 cents, a cheeseburger cost 30 cents, and french fries cost 15 cents. That's insane. So you got all, all that, le that wasn't even 75 cents. That's like, let's say 30, that's 45. It's less than a dollar, it's like 85 cents. Wow. In and Out's burger didn't begin selling fountain beverages until 1958. Ten years after opening its first location, In and Out Burger traded bottle drinks for fountain drinks like Pepsi Cola, 
and Hires root beer. At that time, a fountain soda cost a mere 10 cents. It's wild what inflation has done. Even the most refined palate can appreciate In-N-Out's burger's deliciousness. It says world-renowned chef Gordon Ramsay has been known to delight in a double-double from time to time, and it even goes back for seconds. Okay. Uh, Kylie Jenner ate In-N-Out at least once a week during her first pregnancy. Okay, I don't know how healthy that is, but all right. While pregnant with her daughter and eldest son, Stormy, Kylie Jenner satisfies cravings with In-N-Out at least once a week. So that is that is quite a quite a bit. I'm trying to show you all the In-N-Out sign there, but I don't know if it's going to work. Um, and then it's ironic. I have an ad for type one diabetes can happen at any age. <laughs> so there's a there's a thing here about type one diabetes. As I'm looking up stuff for In and Out. In and Out was the first change to implement a two way speaker system for drive through orders. In 1948, Harry Snyder invented the two way speaker system in his home garage, an innovation that would later be used by every drive through in the country. That's really smart. The yellow arrow wasn't included in the In and Out logo until 1954. Okay. The yellow arrow is really iconic, as we're going to see popping up. And in 2010, In-N-Out sponsored drag racer Malene Troxel. Okay. And uh, give me all one second here, guys. I'm going to give you. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. How y'all doing? Hi. You have a hamburger, no onion, fried iced tea with lemon, eight seventy-eight, please. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So let me show the in and out menu. Okay, thank you. So this is the drink, the in and out drink. There's only like diabetes and heart attacks fully installed in this beautiful thing with palm trees. Okay, that's the in and out drink. Okay, and yeah, this is what they give you. It's kind of cool. Forever fresh, a true classic. We pride ourselves on making our price the same way since 1948. They use the freshest potatoes to peel, dice, and cook in 100% sunflower oil every time you order. Okay, so I could eat the fries. All right, that's not bad. 100% sunflower oil, that's not bad. A lot better than canola oil or some of these other hydrogenated oils. I've been eating so much food today. But yeah, the, 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 they're always dressed really sharp here at in and out and let's see some of the other fun facts about the beautiful In-N-Out franchise. Um, let's see here. What's interesting, I know like McDonald's, they put beef, some type of beef flavoring into the fries. So yeah, so I like that In-N-Out is using 100% uh, sunflower oil. So that's kind of cool. So it's only a California chain then, right? So I guess, let me know if you're from California, if you've ever had in and out or what state or country you're from and what's a popular fast food place for you? Because apparently this is only here in California. So I didn't know that that was, um, I didn't know that that was a thing. Okay, uh, that's interesting. I'm trying to look up some more fun facts about in and out that you may not know. Um, yeah, okay, so obviously, oh, this is cool, it says, but for everything that the customer already know and love about this gem, there's also a lot. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. So this is the meal here. I'm going to find someone to give this to because I don't eat this. But this, I mean, it smells good. I'm not going to lie. It's, the meat smells good. So you got, when we park, what I'll do is, um, let me grab that. Uh, we'll park and then we'll do a breakdown of, a scientific breakdown of in and out. So we're going to find a nice little place to park, and there's a cone there. Okay, so let me give you all a breakthrough of in and out All right, so let's take a look. So we have the fries, right? So these are 100% sunflower oil, so I can eat these. It's really good. It's so salty, that's addicting. That's why you shouldn't eat fast food. It is... They know how to get you addicted. But let's look at the burger. And like I said, the plan is to give the burger to someone because I'm not going to eat this. But I mean, it looks really good. So you've got the sauce that in and out has claimed they have not changed since around the 1940s. So that's the sauce there, whatever it's made of. Then it's really basic. I mean, you just have a tomato, 
uh, you got a tomato, you have lettuce, and then you have the beef patty, and then, then you just got a traditional uh, white, uh, a traditional white uh, bun on it. So it's very, very basic. And this meal was about $10, and then you got your, your uh, fountain drink here. I can show you all. And you got the fountain drink, yeah, but this is in and out for you. So I hope you all enjoyed some of the fun facts I was reading about it. And again, let me know what state you're from or what country you're from and what is the popular thing. So now let's find somebody to give this to because I'm not going to eat this. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And I think they said they put Bible verses on this stuff uh, or it's the fries um, oh, on the bottom of the drinks. I think there's no, this one doesn't. It's uh... oh, yeah, yeah, there is. So if you notice there, they have little uh, Bible verses here. I believe In-N-Out is not a franchise. It's owned by a family. So the family will put little uh, scripture verses. So you see, they got a little scripture verse right there. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a hidden thing. So let me know if you knew that, the In-N-Out had little hidden uh, Bible verses. Okay, see you all soon.